Hey, it's Pinkmon, and welcome to this special little makeover video for the ghost brought back to life from my Eevee Legacy Challenge, Beatrice Baron. So if you've been keeping up with my Eevee Legacy Challenge, especially the Espeon generation, my psychic little heir has seen ghosts since she was a child and Beatrice is like her main little ghost friend that she became friends with as a requirement of the generation. And she has a whole backstory. She was from the 1800s and Vlad, like the famous vampire, killed her on her wedding day right before she got married. That's why she has all these scars and stuff, which I decided, I almost kept them, but then I decided to remove them because um, basically, not to spoil the whole story, but my Espeon heir is a spellcaster and she learned the de-deathify spell. So she brought Beatrice back to life and I just figured if we were gonna bring her back to life, why does she have to have all her scars from when she was dead, right? It's like she's fully renewed now. So she has a second chance at life. Her dream was, you know, to marry her soulmate and have a bunch of babies. She's from the 1800s, so we got some Tchaikovsky playing in the background. But basically, now that she came back to life, that little vampire you see in the corner there is the person she's gonna end up marrying eventually. Right now they are officially dating. We got them together in the last episode. Her um, gravestone was right outside that vampire's house so that's how they got to know each other and they already had a romance bar like before we even got them together. But yeah she just feels like she has a second chance now and she's going to marry Armand, they're gonna have a bunch of kids, it's gonna be cute. But I just felt like she needed a modern makeover because she is from the 1800s. So she had her best friend, best mortal friend, Viola, take her shopping to buy a whole new wardrobe, brought her to the salon to get her hair done, showed her how to use more modern makeup and all that. So I think she's looking super cute, but because she is from the 1800s, I kind of had this idea in my head that um, she wouldn't, I mean, she wants to dress more modern, but I don't think she would go all the way like bat, Instagram baddie mode, you know, because she's just not used to um, dressing that revealing. So she kind of has like a classy, sophisticated look. I think she turned out really cute and I'm excited to have her and Armand have babies and it's gonna be cute. <laughs> in the next episode of Evie Legacy, we are gonna be going to Armand in her house and doing kind of a celebration of life party for her. So that will be fun. I also turned her mouth corners up a little cause in her ghost form, I had her mouth like super frowny cause she was supposed to look permanently sad. So now she is like got a little bit of a smile going on in her resting face, which I think is cute. And one more thing I wanted to mention about the de-deathify spell. You would think if Viola knew how to do that spell, she would just bring all her family members back to life like anytime they die but that's like a little overpowered in my opinion. So we're gonna just pretend, even though in real life in the game, you could use that spell as many times as you want. Let's pretend she could only use it once. Like that's the limit of the power of that spell because if you use it more than once, it's gonna like sap your own life energy out or something. I don't know. I just think, you know, it would be weird for her to be able to just bring everyone back all the time. Like her parents, all her ancestors, all that. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that is what we are gonna pretend. It's like a one and done kind of spell. You use it once and then that's it. And it, maybe it's like forbidden to use it too much or I don't know, your soul could be condemned or something like that. <laughs> so that is what we are going with. But yeah, I hope you guys like how Beatrice turned out and you're excited for the next episode. I will link the last episode up in the corner for those who are interested who just stumbled upon this video and don't know what I'm talking about with all these characters. And you can also look at the full EV Legacy playlist. I'll link that at the end of the video if you want to watch from the beginning. There's all kind of stuff that happens in this series. It's not just about Pokemon related Sims. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!